going on YouTube? Hope everybody is doing incredible. Um, let me put these up. So uh, this video, hopefully this is going to be an encouragement for you. And it's not, it's not meant to uh, pat myself on the back or take um, uh, or say that I'm better than anybody else. Um, so I'm going to tell you a, a part of a process what I did to um, finance my truck. Back in 2010, um, uh, first, before I even, even before I get to there, I give all credit, all glory, all honor to the Most High, the Creator of the universe. You know, uh, all of it. You know, if it was not for Him, uh, I wouldn't be on the path where I am today. That's all. You know. So now that we uh, said that, back in 2008, uh, about 2009, I was uh, uh, studying real estate, you know, apply uh, knowledge is power. So I was seeing these uh, signs on the side of the road, you know, we buy houses and uh, take over your payments and, and you know, stuff associated with uh, real estate investing. I didn't know that's what it was called back then. Stuff uh, associated with real estate investing. So I started looking into it and learning these different strategies on to how, um, how to acquire uh, real estate without conventional financing. Um, so even though I never acquired any real estate with, uh, with these um, uh, creative financing, you can take the same information and apply it to anything else. So that is how I bought my truck. And when I say I bought my truck, ba -ba 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 -ba, I got my title right here. I paid my truck off. Truck is paid off. So how did I do it? Let's get into it. All right. How did I do it? Uh, I talked about, I think it was in my first video I talked about this. Um, I, I was looking for a truck, you know, at first I was researching companies and I found the company I was going to lease a truck to. Um, and I was not just looking on the internet. I was on the phone, you know, calling and talking to people. And <clears throat> they said, you know, as soon as you get your truck, you know, we're ready to go. All right. Now it didn't happen overnight. So I'm looking for a truck. Man, I got stuff all on my shirt. Uh, I'm looking for a truck, and uh, I found the guy that has the, the you know this truck right here. Uh, owner operator that he was getting out of it. He was just tired of it. The company he was leased to was uh, jerking him around, so he was like, "I'm done." Um, so I got in contact with him, and I put. You know, I, I, I said, yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to lease to this company. Um, this is what I'm doing. You know, I live over here. You know, I, you know, I just give him all the details. So that way, you know, he can be comfortable making a decision. Like, am I going to trust this guy or not? So to make a long story short, he's like, well, I have to trust you. You have to trust me. So I bought the truck on a handshake, old fashioned style. There was no contract. It was just old fashioned. Um, we agreed on the terms. And we agreed on the payments, and that was it. So you see right there, I got my title. I uh, paid the truck off today. So um, with that being said, you can do the same thing. I mean, it, you can do it, you know, uh, I don't want to mention anybody's name, but, you know, you can do it the same thing. Trucks, trailers, uh, buildings, real estate. Uh, now, I have not personally done that. Um, it's just that I'm not in the position to do that right now. It's, it's not... That's not uh, something that I'm, I'm focused on right now. But if I put my my time and energy into it, I can. I'm pretty sure I could do it. Um, but you know, if you're going to acquire a truck or any piece of equipment, uh, you may it may be easier for you to do it through creative financing, uh, a creative financing deal, not lease purchase. I mean, it's in a way it's like lease purchase, but 
it's it's way more laxed. Um, so, and let me let me just let me let me go this route. I live in a small community. Um, I'm, I'm right borderline Amish country. Um, there's a couple, of, you know, mom and pop truck garages, um, and people talk. You know, the, the guys they they will come to this garage where I park at, and for you know certain things, or they may go up to another garage, you know, which is you know, ten minutes down the road, and get other work done. Because uh, this garage, you know, sometimes a guy he doesn't want to deal with certain things. So, but these all these guys talk. You know, the older older uh, uh, owner operators, right? So, a couple months ago, this guy comes to me, and he says, uh, Hey, um, I want to sell you my truck. Where's it at? See that blue truck over there? That's a 98 Kenworth. It's for sale. He wants to sell it to me on terms. Put some money down, make payments till it's paid off. Uh... But I'm not, that's not, I thought at one point that was the direction I wanted to go. But as right now, the way that freight is, nah, it's, 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 uh, it's hard enough right now just to keep this truck rolling, um, with the way the freight are. And then if I buy, you know, put a driver in one, you know, over there in that one and, you know, trying to keep him running and keep myself running and stuff, it's right now, it's not a good time. Um, but back to the video. So a small community. So, you know, once you make a name for yourself, uh, hopefully a good name, you know, uh, people will, people will help you. They will go out of their way. Um, not necessarily bend over backwards, but you know, they'll go out of their way, you know, to, uh, help you be successful. Um, now again, I don't know everything about trucking. I don't know of anything, everything about real estate. You know, I've, I've read the books. I've done some strategies. I've, uh, I flipped some houses. Um, so, and all this, all this information, it's all interchangeable. Um, it's all interchangeable. So that is, uh, that's all I got today. I just wanted to tell you guys that, you know, my truck is paid off now. Um, before I end this video, I'm not even going to go there. I might make it in, somewhere in a future video. I'm not even going to go there with that one. Uh, but hopefully this video has encouraged you. Um, learn creative. Think outside of the box. Get rid of the box. You know, just get rid of the box. Get rid of the box. That's all.